Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, and today we have possibly the biggest news to ever come out for the Call of Duty franchise. Activision has officially spoken about skill-based matchmaking. You guys may already know, like, recently, whenever they had these interviews with live streamers or they didn't ask me anything on Reddit, they were forbidden to say even anything about skill-based matchmaking. The Ask Me Anything actually had, like, 5,000 questions about it, and the Call of Duty team ignored all of it. And then randomly today, with all the Season 1 announcements and shipment returning here, which is the gameplay, they they finally decided to speak about skill-based matchmaking. They put out an entire statement, and we just have to check this out right here. We know there's a lot of interest in the matchmaking experience, especially around how skill contributes to how lobbies and matches are put together. Nothing is more important to us than the experience players have with the game, and matchmaking is a big part of that. We've been working with our matchmaking system for well over 10 years, and we continue to spend a ton of time and energy on improving the matchmaking process. This involves people working at our Call of Duty studios, our back-end services teams at Demonware and other groups like our Player Insights team. It's a large effort that we've worked on for many years and our approach combines latency, search time, and skill along with other factors to try to find the best match experience for you. Talking about this topic can be hard and we haven't spent the time to pull together all of our work to share with you our insights and improvements over the many years. We're looking forward to doing that in the coming weeks after Season 1 launches and we'll also make Make it a part of our ongoing discussions with the community signed the call of duty team holy shit ladies and gentlemen they spoke about skill-based matchmaking they're talking about some of the things that go into it latency and skill and search time and things like that and apparently after season one launches on december 6th they're going to be talking in more detail about skill-based matchmaking and when they do that i'm really curious as to what they're going to say they say they're going to have this as part of their ongoing discussions with the community for Ever now, you guys know, like, skill based matchmaking has been like that boogeyman behind the curtains that's secretly pulling the strings when it comes to everything when it comes to the COD online experience. And then now, suddenly, they're talking about it. Suddenly, they're like, okay, yeah, we're gonna start talking about skill based matchmaking. We're gonna gather together all of our insights and our improvements over the years and talk about that with you guys. And also, it's not just going to be a one time discussion, we're going to have that as part of our ongoing discussions with the community throughout the entirety of the Modern Warfare 3 life cycle and possibly going forward into. COD 2024. Holy shit. Like, I don't even really know what to say here. When I saw this news, I woke up today. I, I'm on that degenerate sleep schedule right now, as a lot of content creators are when it's, you know, the new COD being out and everything. We're just playing and recording and making videos and just into the wee hours of the morning. So I woke up, I saw this news. I'm like, holy shit. Like, they're actually talking about it. And in here, they didn't really say a whole lot. They say it's partly their COD studios and Demonware and their player insights team, whatever those people do. It's cool they're actually talking about this. Like, they're talking about how how skill is definitely part of the matchmaking system. They have officially acknowledged it. And that's something I never thought we would see because just recently they had that live stream where they were talking with the community and taking questions and they even told the live streamer going into it that they were not allowed to ask any questions about skill-based matchmaking. And then the Reddit AMA, they completely ignored all the questions about skill-based matchmaking. And then out of nowhere now, it seems like the community effort is what has gotten Activision to actually speak about this, right? And people always say, like, all you do is complain. Why don't you just quit the game? This, that, and the other. This is why. When enough people talk about things, when enough people cover news, when things actually happen within the community, eventually, the companies fold. That is what ends up happening. I mean, look at supply drops eventually getting removed from the COD franchise. Look at DLC maps and season passes eventually getting removed from the COD franchise. And now, we find ourselves in a situation where I don't think they're going to get rid of skill-based matchmaking. I just think they're going be more transparent about it and that's awesome at the very least like the fact that it's there is annoying it definitely ruins the matchmaking experience for so many people especially when it comes to things like packet burst and connectivity and things like that and just wanting to relax and play cod as compared to having to sweat your balls off every single game you know it definitely affects everything but the fact that they're actually acknowledging it now instead of it being this like boogeyman in the background and they're even discussing a little bit about it because the community's figured out a lot of how skill-based matchmaking works i mean we we only need to look at the Billy Goat 57 accounts of the world. People can soft reverse boost by doing that, and then suddenly they're having a great time. They're, they're playing COD again. Like, skill is definitely a massive factor. When they say it combines latency and search time, that is something I'm not so keen on because you guys probably saw my skill based matchmaking video when the game first came out. Like, they refused to even give us lobbies once we were on a 10 game win streak, and then they did throw us into a lobby over in Europe. And then the game after that, they gave us no teammates, and it was just a four on six throughout an entire 10 minute game of dominance. 
combination. Like, there's definitely some sketchy ass shit when it comes to skill based matchmaking, and I'm wondering if they're going to cover any of that or if this is going to be more of like the PR stuff. Like, how many of you guys out there are sports fans? You know, every now and then, after a basketball game, a football game, or whatever, every now and then a player will pop off and they'll start saying what they really feel. But in general, they're all media trained. They're like, yeah, I tell you what, it was a it was a hard fought loss, and uh, you know they came out there and uh, they played hard on us, and uh, just got to get back to practice. And uh, next week uh, we're gonna do a little bit better. And uh, yeah, that basically that's what you get all the time. That's why I think we're gonna basically get from the Call of Duty team when they start talking about skill based matchmaking. I don't think they're gonna go into wild detail. I don't think they're gonna you know try to cover as to why it's good for them and why they think it's good for the player base and how it helps out them monetarily with different new players joining the game and not wanting to leave. I don't think they're going to really cover any of that. I think we're going to basically get the broad strokes. We're going to get the media trained explanation of skill based matchmaking. But still, this is a fantastic start and it's a step in the right direction. That is the biggest thing right now. Like I never thought they would ever discuss this and now they are. And I'm really interested to see how that is going to change things going forward. I think it's naive to think that skill based matchmaking might end up changing anytime soon. But the fact that they're talking about it and now it's going to be part of their open discussions with the community seems to indicate that maybe they are open now to some of that player feedback and maybe now at the very least they can explain to us why the matchmaking is the way that it is why connectivity is the way that it is and hopefully once they gather more feedback from that maybe some change can happen i think it's a long shot but again going full circle back to the very beginning of the video the biggest thing is that they've acknowledged it and they have not acknowledged it in like five years. Like going back to Modern Warfare 2019, even going back to games like Advanced Warfare, even Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, skill based matchmaking has always been a topic in the COD franchise for over a decade, which they said in their statement. Like they've been working on this thing for like 10 years, right? It's always been a topic. We've always been aware of it. We've seen the patents and they've always brushed it under the rug, which is weird because other game studios will talk about skill based matchmaking. They'll talk about bots being in their multiplayer and they give reasons as to why it's there. Whereas Act vision is just completely silent they've always been silent and now they're not and i'm interested to see how this is going to change things going forward and what if anything is going to come of this but ladies and gentlemen that is it for this video here today i have many more topics to discuss i mean all the season one stuff just came out today we have so much information to go over but i had to make this video right here about skill-based matchmaking and basically just barf words at you because holy shit man like what a way to wake up what a way to wake up you get all the notifications your phone's blown up you know and you're like skill-based matchmaking is being discussed by activision i'm like what there is no way and then yeah so these are these are like basically my first reactions my first impressions of the news and everything and uh i'm interested to see once we get to season one because they say after season one they're going to go into more detail about this and i cannot wait for that but guys as always i'll keep you posted as we learn more and as the story develops but for right now that's it for this video hope you enjoyed it leave your thoughts and feedback down there in the comments drop a like for them talking about skill-based matchmaking finally and i hope you guys all have a wonderful day